driving across Washington State. It's going to take you the better part of the day to do that. And you're going to probably want some place to kind of get out, stretch your legs, get some gas, now get some food. I've got a suggestion I think that'll kind of make you happy. And that's coming right up. Hi, I'm Arnie, and this is Arnie Jacobs TV, where we talk travel, camera gear, and tech. And if you're into any of those three things, why don't you consider subscribing? Just click that big red subscribe button down below, and don't forget, click the bell icon also, so you'll be notified whenever we put up new content. Welcome to another episode of Our Favorite Places, where we share places in Washington State that don't often get a lot of publicity. At exit 101, just off of I-90, is the little hamlet of Thorpe, Washington. So what makes Thorpe, Washington interesting? Well, one of them is a historic grist mill, and the other is Thorpe Fruit and antiques. This place has been here since 1944, well before I-90 was ever conceived. So you kind of wonder how they managed it. It started out just as a tiny little fruit stand. Now it is so much more. As I was saying, this is no longer just a fruit stand. It's now become an antique shop too, and it has some of the most eclectic things that I've ever seen, like Mardi Gras masks and that kind of stuff. It's pretty cool. It's just a whole plethora of things, I like that word, plethora. Yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. As I said, this place has been here since like 1944, if I remember right. And it's gone through a lot of changes, obviously. Still in the same family, though. That's pretty cool. It's a great place to get fresh fruit in season. And they also have gifty kinds of things also. So quite an, quite an array of different things. Stop number two, which is about a mile and a half farther down the road, is the grist mill that's been here since the late 1800s. And uh, this was you know, built in 1880, and it was the place that was the, like the cornerstone of this place. So it was built in 1880s, kind of the cornerstone. People would bring their grain here to be milled and, you know, stand around, gossip, talk about the events of the day, plan their futures. On this winter day, it's not open, so we can't go in, but there's supposed to be quite a bit of interesting stuff inside. You can actually get guided tours, and there's an interpretive center around here someplace. Like I said, it's a little bit, a uh, little bit messy here today, but, well worth driving into town five minutes or so after you've seen Thorpe Fruit and Antique. Hey, if you like this kind of content, make sure that you give us a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, subscribe of course, and share with friends. We do appreciate it. Thanks for stopping by. Hey, and we'll see you at our next favorite place.